Jill Biden was around today. She made three campaign stops in the South. So I don't know what that does. I guess it raises money. I, I, but Jill is out there. Uh, Jill does not want to leave the White House. That's for sure. Maybe they could rent her a room in the it's a big house. All right, Donald Trump, nothing today. Tomorrow he goes to Doral, Florida, but he doesn't really go because he owns a golf club in Doral and he uh, has a rally uh, or something. Uh, and then on Saturday, you got a big rally in Butler, Pennsylvania. And next Monday, a week from today, is the deadline for his running mate choice. I uh, have put forth that Nikki Haley far and away would help Donald Trump regain the White House. There's no question about it. That's it. He picks Nikki Haley. Over. But he won't. He doesn't like her. I don't like her. I, I have to be honest. I don't like Nikki Haley. I think she's an entitled woman. In our dealings with her, she's been arrogant. I don't like her. But if I was Trump, I'd pick her like that. Because she could do the job. I don't have to like you if you if you are proficient. She could run a country. In my opinion, she's a smart woman. So Donald Trump dips in and out of the no spin news. And uh, I hope he's listening to me. But Snicky Haley on a second. He wins. Okay, polling. So there was a Bloomberg Morning console, Paul, I don't trust that operation, so I'm not going to report it. I'm, you can look it up, though, if you want. It was favorable to Biden, primarily, but I, I just don't trust them. Remember, I've been doing this a long time, and I follow the polls. And I know which polls are accurate, historically, and which are not. So I make that editorial choice in presenting information to you. There's a USA Today poll out. I don't have a problem with USA Today polling. I think the newspaper is ridiculous, but the polling seems to be pretty good. Uh, Democrat 33, Republican 34, Independent 30. That's a fair sample. 1,000 registered voters. First question, the election we held today, would you vote for? Trump 41, Biden 38, RFK 8, undecided 9. That's closer than it should be, in my opinion, but what do I know? I'm not a pollster. Job performance. 51% of the respondents approve of Donald Trump's job performance when he was president. That's up big. 41% of respondents approve of Joe Biden's current job performance, a 10-point gap. So why isn't there a 10-point gap in who you would vote for? It's Trump's personality. Everything is expensive these days, you know that. The government is printing trillions of dollars in consumer prices higher than ever. If the government continues its printing and spending, the dollar could continue its freefall and lose its coveted role as the world reserve currency. Let's hope that doesn't happen. But there are a few things you can do right now. American Hartford Gold can show you how to protect your money your retirement, your hard-earned savings against inflation by helping you diversify a portion of your portfolio into physical gold and silver. Start with a short phone call, and they can have physical gold and silver delivered right to your door or put inside your 401k or IRA. So please call or text them right now. Tell them Bill O'Reilly sent you. Call 877-444-GOLD, 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Again, that's 877-444-GOLD, or text GOLD to 65532. Thank you for watching the No Spin News. To watch the full episode anytime on BillOReilly.com, please sign up to become a premium or concierge member. Visit BillOReilly.com to sign up and start watching today.